often good businesses start with a line of, wouldn't it be good if? How do you start a small business from zero? Right, well, starting is easy. Mm. Making it successful is really hard. Yeah, I was just saying before, like, you can, it's easy to make a child. Yeah, I know, yeah. Try to. Bloody hard to raise them. It's hard to raise them. <laughs> How do you start a business from zero? I mean, I assume that this person might say, I mean, with no money. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Look, I would say to that, if someone was saying to me, how do I start a business? Is first and foremost, you've got to be passionate about something, something or product. And often good businesses start with a line of, wouldn't it be good if, mm-hmm. right? So, you know, when, um, you know, when pe- people have little kids and when they've got babies and they're looking for a product and it's not there, they go, wouldn't it be good if? I could create a product that makes the children less messy when I eat. So a lot of them start with good, wouldn't it be good if? Um, <laughs> so I think it's like finding a, finding a need for the customer, but don't go with just what you want. Do a lot of research. I think before you even start a business, mm. research is king. Yeah, and start locally at the research. Don't yeah. just go on Google. Ask, do the barbecue test, yep. do the family test, do your mum group um, or dad group, or if, you're, if it's a child or family. And also would say that um, if you have a full-time job and you're looking to do this, wouldn't it be nice to have? Yeah. In my view is don't quit your day job for just an idea yet. Yeah. How it worked with me, me and Jeff was that he had a full-time job because when you start a new business, as you know, there's no cash coming mm. in, right? So, yeah. and you know, bills need to be paid and you still gotta feed your kids. So he worked full-time, so I, which enabled me not to take a salary and I didn't make any money I didn't take any money out of the business for the first three years and pre- and I think my first salary was like thirty thousand dollars and that was probably another two years so mm. you've got to um, be prepared to either go live back with your parents yeah. <laughs> or um, somehow work out how you can live on less to start a new business yeah it's very true it's very true I paid um, myself I think it was forty thousand dollars when the business was earning about 400,000, 500,000. Yep. But, but, and there was a difference between buying a first house as a young 20 something year old yeah. or putting into an idea or business. And um, mate, that is the common narrative of business owners. We go all in, but I think the smart way would be if you've got a partner, you can keep that income to keep the lights on, that'd be good. Or to test the idea first whilst you got your job and yes. maybe you can start to wean back they're full-time hours to part-time or something when you can see it's taking off. And that's really common. I mean, I know a lot of people who have, have done that. Unfortunately, what you do find, though, your business will never take off fully until you're fully in it. But you, the reality is you've still got to feed yourself. So if you're prepared to work 40 hours in a day job and then 40 hours on your business, well, you know, you might just be a bit busy for a few years. But, yeah, at the end of the day, I think we've got to keep the reality of, you know, we still need to eat and we still want to have a, a life.